After you've powered off the device, you'll want to start to heat the back of the phone. I use a heat mat that's made for this specific task set to about 60 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes, but an industrial heat gun will work just as well. Once the back of the phone has been adequately heated, you'll need to start to pry the back glass off. I found the easiest way to do this is to take an X-Acto knife and begin to pry between the glass itself and one of the antenna bands. Once you get the knife wedged in there, you'll want to swap it out for a plastic tool of some sort. This is done because the metal can easily crack the glass more. Once you get the plastic tool in there, you can begin to work your way around the sides and the top of the phone. When going up the side of the phone, you'll want to be careful of the QI charging pad as it can easily get caught on one of the tools and become torn. If at any time while going around the back glass you notice too much resistance, applying a little more heat should help. Once you've loosened the adhesive, you should be able to begin prying it off the back of the phone. When you have the new piece ready, you'll want to make sure that the back is free of any broken glass or adhesive that may have been left over from the previous back glass. Once you're positive that it's clean, you can begin to apply the back glass. You'll want to align the top and the bottom of the back glass with the phone at the same time, but work your way from one side to the other. Once the glass is on the back of the phone, applying pressure in the places where the adhesive is should give it a good seal. After that, you should be done.